Hey guys, Hydman here. I decided I'm going to do a second episode today, this morning, immediately after the last one. So let's go find Mr. Baccarat, who runs this hotel. Alright, we're going to do one floor at a time. Cool bathrooms. Okay, so tell me what happened the other day. The suspense is killing me. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. All right, all right, already. But you've got to keep this under your hat, okay? This is between you and me. And me. Hmm. I swear I won't say a word. We barmen know when to keep our mouths shut. <sighs> By the goddess, lower your voice. I assume you've heard about Mr. Golding's house being burgled. Mm, baby girl. Well, the fact is, puppy. Mr. Golding was murdered during a robbery. Oh, dang. Murdered! Oh, you mean Mr. Golding is dead? I told you to Let's keep it down. down. <laughs> That's why nobody's seen hiding a hair of him recently. Oh, he isn't puppy. among the living anymore. It's a weird way to put it. <laughs> but Mr. Golding was such a big man. You're trying to tell me he was killed by a random burglar? Well, the really weird thing about it was that the burglar was apparently dressed as a jester. Yes, Dulmes. I didn't see him myself, mind you, but that's what they say. A jester, huh? A strange one, this burglar. Seems he broke in, killed Mr. Golding, and left. He didn't take anything valuable. Yeah, that is weird. Usually he kills people when he From needs From the somewhere. looks of it, he was after Mr. Golding's life, not his gold. That is interesting. I don't remember why. I also <laughs> heard that Cash and Carrie have ordered some men to find the jester and avenge their father's death. You would think that would mean we're getting pe more people in our party, but apparently it does not. By the goddess, this is big. Oh, I won't tell a soul. You can count on me. Also, online, someone said that you can play as like red and stuff. I'm like, no, you can't. Maybe you can in the 3DS version. I don't know, but it was supposed to be this. I'd better get back to my customers. See you later. I'm sorry, I, I did not see you standing there. I'm assuming I'm supposed to talk to the bartender back down <gasps> at the place did somewhere, you, but... Did you hear what we were talking about? I don't know about. what good it will do. Oh, forgive me for the strange question. A slip of the tongue. <laughs> I'd better get back to work. Alright. Time for the puppy to go back down. There you go. Alright, well, let's keep exploring. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go talk to the bartender. I don't know if it's now or in the evening. It's kind of annoying that I find stuff that I've already purchased. I'm sorry, but I can't let you through this door connects to the casino hand. What? You heard anything the bartender and I were saying before? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. And he'll tell you the same thing. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, it actually is locked. Alright. It's not another... Wow. It's not a small hotel. I figured there'd be more floors. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now, this just goes to a roof? Really, there's not a whole lot of floors in this place. What's the point of that? Alright. So yeah, I, I guess I gotta go talk to the bartender. I might have to wait till evening. I'm not certain. It would be kind of BS if I did, but you know, whatever.
Hey, you. Hmm, you heard everything we were talking about upstairs. What? Look, cut me some slack and don't tell anyone else, okay? If word gets around, I'll be in deep. Oh, let me propose a deal. You keep your mouth shut and I promise to tell you what I know. What do you say? Yeah, sure, why not? I knew I could count on you. Let me fill you in on what I know. Cash and Carly sent a posse after the man who killed their father. They want revenge. And I hear they headed straight for some island north of Baccarat. Where there is some rooms on the island. It would make a perfect hideout. Can't be absolutely sure. I mean, I guess we killed Gilding, but I'm quite sure we can be sure enough to be sure. Okay. Killed him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, blimey! Hi, man. Why don't we go and have a look at those ruins on the island to the north? Maybe we'll be able to find some kind of clue. Am I really getting this close to the end of the game? I mean, usually you beat the game, you're like level 80-something, but I'm pretty sure those ruins on that island have such a dark aura that you have to go and get, yeah, like, the special mirror. special mirror in order to do it. Island to the north. Well, that's open. Ah, yeah, okay. Some magic. Continue to see through church. Yeah, you should just be able to go this way and eventually see a yeah. That dark aura makes it to where you can't get through. Cutscene. Surely it's too dangerous to carry on pursuing this fiend. I mean, look at what he did to Golding. Huh? Who are you? Interesting. I thought there was no one on this island besides us and Golding's murderer. Let me give you a piece of advice. Steer clear of the old ruins in the middle of the island. Ignore me at your peril. You have been warned. We chased that gesture all the way here, but now it's come to the crunch. I just can't see any hope of victory against someone strong enough to overpower Mr. Golding. But now we've come this far, we can hardly just turn around and go home. Oh, what to do, what to do.
remind me of the lady that was mean to me. Why did that just to have to choose such a spooky hideout? If it wasn't so creepy here, we wouldn't hesitate to go after him. Sure. That's your excuse. So, which way am I going? Uh, looks like dead center and then right. the lesser demon just because it's creepy. Which one of those openings is dead center?
When you all set off so bravely, we decided it was time we did the same. So perhaps you could fill us in. Hmm, I see. The dark aura coming out of the ruins is some kind of barrier set up by Dumegus, is it? So we have to break through that before we can fight him then. But how? How do you break through darkness? Ah, wait a minute. How about the magic mirror of Argonia? People say that can dispel the dark. You never know. It might do the trick. If I remember rightly, Argonia's off to the southeast of Baccarat, isn't it? Let's go in here and rest and we'll get my... Health and magic and everything all restored appropriately. Basically, I want to go exactly straight from where I am. Man, I'm not overly liking bone.
sorry. Just a bit of Qatar. How's it? Welcome to Chateau Felix, residence of the great Cybercat father, Master Felix. My name's Tom. I'm Master Felix's helper. Are you here to see him? Sure. <coughs> Excuse me? But Master Felix is a busy man. He hasn't got time to meet any old thing the cat dragged in. I'll have to ask you some questions. If you can prove you're a top cat, I'll let you in just now. Okay. Question number one. It's light, and it's raining cats and dogs. You're hurrying home. When you hear a little kitten meowing, it's right soaking wet. But everyone in your house really hates cats. So what do you do with the kitten? Uh -huh. Question number two. You're the king's servant. You go out hunting with the king, but you don't manage to find any prey. Then you find a tiger in a trap in the woods. The king is some way off and hasn't noticed the tiger yet. So, what do you do? Well, in reality, you would kill the tiger and then show it to the king, because that's your job. That's what you're out there for. But let's go free the tiger from the trap and let it go. Uh -huh. And question number three. You are an explorer. Along your travels, you're attacked by a great cyber cat. Well, that's happened. You managed to overpower the cat. But it looks at you as if it wants to become your friend and travel with you. Hell's yeah. So, what do you do? You let the great Cybercat join you uh -huh. on your journeys, of course. It's the coolest thing ever. And now, to let the cat out of the bag, let's see how you did. I'm sorry. But you're not the kind of person Master Felix has the time to meet. I feel like I you're... can't let you in to see him now. Sorry. If you really want to see him, have another go at my test. How's it? You want to try my test again? Question. It's light, and it's raining cats. But everyone in your house really Apparently hates cats. Apparently, this is the cats. one I got wrong. Uh -huh. Question number two. You're the king's servant. Then you find a tiger. So, what? And you are an explorer. You managed to overpower the cat. So, what do you... Uh -huh. And now... Perfect. <coughs> you had... I say, someone other than Tom for once. The old boy doesn't often let people in, you know. You call me a rather busy time, I'm afraid. I'll be with you in a jiffy. There. I think I'll take a breather for a while. Sorry to keep you waiting. So, you're an explorer, eh? I'm Felix. Well, well, Tom's really got an eye for people. Only lets decent chaps through, you know. Yes. You might just be able to assist me. 
There's a little undertaking I need some help with. Allow me to explain. It's an old chum of mine, you see. Gorn and got himself lost, would you believe? Normally, I'd go and help the old bean out myself, of course. But as you can see, I, I've got a lot on my plate just at the moment. Oh, that's where you come in. I'd like you to go and give the old bean a bit of assistance. If you don't mind, that is. Well, what do you say? Will you help? Yeah. Capital! Right, I'll tell you what you need to do then. Around these parts, there are four great Sabercat statues. You might have seen one of them on your way over here. Yeah. They all point to the same place. There's a strange tree there that's only visible at dawn. And that's precisely where the old chap is, you see. All I need you to do is go there and give him this. He's a clever old bean. Just give him that. Once you've given it to him, come back and pay me a visit. I'll have a little token of appreciation for you. If you leave here and head up the hill, you'll get a view of a couple of the Saber Cat statues. It's worth taking a look before you go off exploring. Ah! Golly! I nearly forgot. I suppose you've never ridden a great saber cat before, eh? Well, this'll be a fine chance. Speak to Tom. He'll give you what you need. Give the old speed a bit of a boost, what? Tom will explain the rest. Yep, that's why I came here. However, we're a good ways through. I think I will stop here. Well, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.